When you're on a call on your mobile phone or cell phone, your phone is doing lots of things and is super busy. While the phone is doing many things, the two key things your phone is doing is sending and receiving, and sending and receiving, and sending and receiving, all the time. Even when you're not on a call, the phone is still connected to the mobile network and is communicating continuously with the network so that the network knows that the phone exists. In other words, the phone is constantly telling the network, I'm here, I'm here. So basically updating the network of its presence. Now the sending and receiving requires a special type of connection between the mobile phone and the mobile network. It's a perfect relationship where the phone and the network are always connected because they always maintain dedicated communication links for two-way communication. So it's a two-way street, just like any relationship, but this is actually technically better because you have dedicated communication links for both parties to send and receive. Dedicated links, right? That's the difference. These communication links are called uplink and downlink. Downlink is the communication from the mobile network base station to the mobile phone, and uplink is the communication from the mobile phone back to the mobile network base station. The uplink and downlink terminologies are relevant for most mobile networks, but not the CDMA networks. CDMA networks are IS-95, also called CDMA-1 for 2G, CDMA-2000 for 3G, and also EVDO for high-speed 3G data. Now, if you live in the US, and in the past you have used someone like Verizon, then you may already have come across these terminologies. Of course, CDMA is not limited to the US only, but is also used in many other countries. For CDMA networks, we don't use the terms uplink and downlink, but have another set of terminologies. In CDMA, the downlink is called forward traffic channel, and uplink is called reverse traffic channel. So if you look at the concept here, the link from the base station to the phone is called the forward channel, and the link from the phone back to the network is called the reverse channel. So that's the CDMA network, but in all other networks like 2G GSM, 3G UMTS, 4G LTE, and 5G NR, so basically the majority of the mobile networks in this world use the terminologies uplink and downlink. Since it can be a little bit confusing to always remember which one is uplink and which one is downlink, let me tell you the reasoning behind this so you never, ever forget this. Now, look at this picture on the screen. In almost all normal situations, of course, you can always do crazy things, but in all normal situations, the base station is generally higher than you, and it is always mounted at a tall mast so that it's always higher. So if you send something to the base station, you have to send it upwards, which is why it is called the uplink. Similarly, since the base station is higher than you, if it sends something to you, it has to send it downwards, hence the term downlink. Now, practically speaking, one key thing involved in the uplink and downlink discussion is how they are separated from each other. As we discussed earlier, these are two dedicated links or separate links, one for the base station to send and one for the mobile phone to send. This is where something called duplexing scheme comes in. A duplexing scheme determines whether uplink and downlink shall use separate frequency bands or separate time slots. If separate frequency bands are used, the scheme is called frequency division duplex or FDD meaning the separation or division is based on the frequency. If, however, the network operator decides to use the same frequency band, but different time slots or time intervals, then the scheme is called 
time division duplex or TDD, meaning the separation is based on the timing of uplink and downlink on the same frequency band. Thanks for watching the video guys, I've written a detailed post on this topic and the link is in the description. And make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.